Hi guys, it's me Laura and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm I'm back from Disneyland Paris. I came back today and I'm going to be filming my very long haul video. I might have to put this into two parts. First of all, I want to apologise for the lighting. And secondly, I want to apologise for my red nose. I got sunburned yesterday and I also got the air burnt, but we're not going to go there. Let us kick this off because it's going to take a while. I did buy a bit more than I had planned, but in my defence, some of this is presents. So let's kick this off with the first thing I bought. It's not going to be in any particular order at all because so it is the photo pass. And, oh, it's upside down. Well done, Laura. Good start to the video. It's photo pass plus. I didn't buy this when I went in 2015. And I, I kind of knew I wanted to get it. I was a bit wary of it because I thought, is it going to be worth it? And we got 93 photos over the space of the four days we were actually in the parks. Um, Yeah. We weren't in the parks today and we weren't in the parks on Saturday but I met Mickey Mouse in my hotel and I met Pluto in the Secure Lodge Hotel today. So between me and Alison we got 93 photos which I think is really really good and which is less than a euro per, per photo. So we, it came in this box and we got one of the, I think we got two of these little like key fobs and then there was a lanyard which I didn't actually use because I have my own lanyard. So this is my lanyard. Um, just show you. I forgot to show you my ticket actually. So yeah, this is the card I used. It's like a credit card and I kept it in my lanyard so it was just easy to get bring out and in when I needed it. So basically what happens is if you meet a character and there is a photographer there um, it will tell you in the park guide. You give this to the photographer, they'll scan this bit and you'll download the app onto your phone and then you'll obviously register it when you get it and you will be able to view your photos. However, at the moment, there isn't, unless you're in a Disney hotel, there is not a very good internet connection. So it's very, very hard to see if your photos are on there. But if you're not sure, go into any of the shops and they will check it. But I will do a whole video on Photopath. And this is my ticket, Minnie Mouse, because she is my favourite character. And the last time I went, I actually got Mickey, so I have the set now. So yeah, and it's one of the 25th anniversary ones, which I love. So yeah, I also like the fact that Photo Pass has been has a 25th anniversary on it. So yeah, that's Photo Pass, and I thought it was worth it. Um, some may think different, but it just depends. I'm the type of person who used it quite a lot. Now on to the first bag. Um, hopefully the price. Is so I'm not in, like I say, not in any particular order. Anyway, first, not the first thing. I hate when I do that. Is the postcard. And it is the 25th anniversary one. It's all bent because it's been in my bag and it is um, been in my suitcase. This is 250. I do think the postcards are a little overpriced for what you get, but I wanted that for my corkboard, which is right there, which you can't see. But yeah, so that's going on there. And um, like you say, I'm not doing this in any particular order. So the next item is a, my very first attractions pin. I wanted a Thunder Mountain one because I finally got to ride it. Could not find one anywhere. So I had to go for the Buzz Lightyear laser blast one because after Thunder Mountain this would probably be my second favourite attraction. They don't do any ones for like likes of um, the car sale or Mad Hatter's Teacup or It's a Small World so I went for Buzz and I don't think it's going to show up. But this was orange which I think is probably about 7.99 euros I think. Um, another pin I have is actually, uh, Alison, please don't watch this, it's one of the ones I got you for your birthday. I'm actually going to do Alison's pins that I bought her, if I can find the third one. Oh no, I've lost it. Oh no, that's mine. Oh dear. Is that it? Nope. Okay, I've only got two of them. They must still or must be in my other bag. But I got um, Alison two pins, and there is a third one. So these are being left by for her birthday. So the first one I got her is Princess Aurora, who is her favourite princess. And if you can see. And it is orange again, I think it's eight ninety nine euros. I think the next one I got Alison was the Beauty in the Beast one. And I actually got this as well and I think it was seven ninety nine euros. So I know she has a couple of the Beauty and the Beast ones, so that's why I bought them. The next item I got was was something I looked at last time, but I did buy them and they're actually my birthstone earrings, so they're like a purpley colour. So they are like a lilac, and they were fourteen ninety nine. dollars 
So, the next items I have are actually presents, and one of them is for Zoe, and one of them is for my friend Indy, and they are the 25th anniversary Nikki shaped pens, and these are worth 5 99 euros. So that's them, they're just silver with blue writing on it, and they have the Disneyland 25. And another present, and the reason I'm doing these now is because Zoe and Lauren are in, so I want to give them their presents, is for Lauren I got her the Bell key ring, and these were six ninety nine euros. I think I actually bought Lindsay one of these, but I can't find it as yet. But I will find it. So that's um part of their presents. So I'll leave them sitting there. Moving on now to another present, and this is from my friend Jenna I work with, and it's a Donald Duck magnet. It looks quite grumpy there though, and that was three ninety nine euros. Um, um another two magnets I bought and um, one of these is going to is a gift because I actually bought this one first because I couldn't find the other one, so I'm going to give this as a gift. And they're both 25th anniversary ones. So there we go. And that one was 4.99. And then this is the one I wanted. It's like the postcard. And that one was 4.99 as well. So yeah. Um, another 25th anniversary item is the 25th anniversary autograph pen, and that was 3.99 euros. And I got a lot of autographs. So that's my autograph pen. And another pen I bought because I love pens, and it's a Chip and Dale one because I love these two so much, and that was €3.99. Euros. So, year, and it's not very often you get a pen with Chip and Dale. And another pen is a Minnie Mouse one because she's my favourite Disney character, and it's pink with a bow just there, and it's got little shoes on there, and it says Disneyland Paris on there, and that again was €5.99. Euros. That's a normal pen, that is not. Oh yeah, I'll show you my birthday badges I got given. It was my birthday on the 29th of June, which was our first full day. When I checked in at our hotel, I got given this one in Spanish, which has my name on it. And then when I had my birthday made up first to Cinderella, and they gave me this one in English. So I have two of those now. I also, because it was my birthday and it was my 30th while I was there, yes guys, I'm 30, I got the happy birthday pin. And it's a spinner one, and that was... Eight ninety nine. I can't remember it's the yellow band at one, but yeah, it's my birthday pin. Just because it means I celebrated my birthday at Disney. Three other pins I bought was the twenty fifth anniversary one, and I went for this one because I quite like the fact the castles in it. Oh no, the lighting's so bad. And that was green bandit, and I like it. It's got the castle on there. And then I got our hotel pin, which is the Newport Bay one, and it's got Donald Duck on there. And it was blue band. I think this is the cheapest one. It was six ninety nine. And I have two of those. And then I got this one was like a nightmare to find. And it is a twenty seventeen pin. And I found this on the little trading pin trading cart just outside of Plaza Gardens restaurant on Main Street. I had searched high and low for this pin, could not find it. And I found it. So I'm quite happy about that one. The first I bought a key ring. And it's a princess one, and it's got a Cinderella, it has Aurora, and it also has Belle on there, and then it just says Disney Princess, and that was six ninety nine. I got two of the coins, and I bought these actually, I didn't get them made in the little machine, I bought them in the Christmas shop. So the first one is a Minnie Mouse 25th anniversary one, which is not going to show up. Uh, oh, there we go. Because Minnie Mouse, like I said, is my favourite. And I also got a 2017 one as well. And I've got Mickey Mouse on there. So, now that I have that back done, these are the things I bought for other people. Woo! And we drop another pin I actually bought Alison. And this is the one that she picked. It's a Tinkerbell one. And it was Orange Bandit. I really cannot find the other. I don't know if I bought another one of the Beauty and the Beast keyrings or not. I can't remember. I also got the girls and work some of the chocolate sweets, and they were five ninety nine. I will be sorting all the the presents out to get so I can put them into bags to give to people. I got Jenna again the little like tin of sweets, and they were euro each. I got this best mum postcard. Now I'm not going to win the whole. My mum died last year, and. I thought I'm going to get this and I'm going to write a little message on it and I'm going to put it on. Maybe get some flowers and put this with it um, to put on her grave. So, yeah. But I felt her presence while I was there, but I'm not going to go into that. But that was one euro fifty. I also got a set of 
the 25th anniversary pens and there's six of them and I got these for the girls in work and yeah there's six of them and I think there is six of them there's two new girls have just started so I don't know them but they can have the sweets um, so that there is enough for the rest of us plus it means I still can have the Minnie Mouse one as well so it's basically got Minnie, Mickey, Goofy, Daisy oh there's a Chip and Dale one did I go for Chip and Dale or did I go for Minnie? Hmm. And there's a Donald one. Oh, I never noticed the Chip and Dale one before. Now I am torn. Ooh. I think I'll take the Chip and Dale one because people in work are more likely to go for Minnie. Yeah. Good thing about that woman. I also got two boxes of these like, little mini, um, little like cookie biscuity things. I got, these were one ninety nine euros and I got these as presents for people. And partly I sound Scottish, so quite cute. Quite a cheap little present. I got my sister and her my brother in law. Because they got married this year, I got them this little fridge magnet with the bride and groom on it and it's Minnie and Mickey. That'd be quite cool. Oh they were the stuff I've already shown, so Laura. Brains of Britain. Shove them in there. That's that bag done. I've done that bag, haven't I? Yes, I have. <clears throat> what is in this bag? Oh yeah, this is my... Rock to dry it before I brought it with me. It's my 25th anniversary light up sippy cup. And I got this in our hotel bar. And it's a non-alcoholic cocktail. And I think this is 9.99 euros. Go off. There we go. I didn't get a glutini, by the way, just because... Oh, I found another item in here. Oh no, I didn't. That was from Carl's again. But yeah, I did, I'm not a big drinker anyway, so I just went for that one. Hopefully this hasn't broke on the plane the way over. So this is the mug that my friend Jenna from work gave me money to get her. So you see in one piece, I'm going to cry. And there is a Donald Duck one. And this was 12 99 And it says, hey, what's up? What's going on? And it's yellow with Donald Duck on there. And it's blue on the inside. Isn't it? Oh, I forgot to get my Rapunzel mug. Oops. Oh well, I don't really need another mug. But yeah, came home in one piece, hooray. So I'm going to have to wrap that up nicely because Jenna's actually leaving my work. So I'm going to have to put all her stuff in this bag and write her name on there. But I'm glad that came home in one piece. Because I'm being another breakable item, which I hope this came home in one piece. It's my bowl. I should have unwrapped this, shouldn't I? Oh, and it is a Chip and Dale bowl. And I have a Chip and Dale mug actually. So, and it has Disney and Horace there. And that was €9.99. Euros. I did want the glass with that print on it, but they didn't have the Chip and Dale one. But yeah, it's brown on the inside and it matches my mug. Although my mug's the Disney store one, not the Disney Empire one. So that's my mat bowl. But yeah, two breakables come in one piece. I'm doing well. There's some of the Christmas tree decorations I bought are in one piece. So I keep that in because I'm going to take that down to the kitchen to mother bag. Now on to the Christmas tree decorations. I'm getting there, guys. Just bear with me. The do wrap, I must admit they do wrap these up quite well. I think this is actually the one that Carl bought me. Alison's mum bought me one as a birthday present. And I'm not putting this on my tree because I think it's too adorable. So it's a Chip and deal one. And it's so cute. Oh, and they've got some, they're stacking acorns. It's all glittery. And that was 9 .99, So I'm going to actually put that with my Chip and deal Disney tradition that I have. I'm going to need help to tie this all up. Might rig. And then I got this one from my friend Lindsay. Because I asked her what colour her Christmas tree was. And she was like silver and red. So I got her this plain red one. And that was seven ninety nine. So it's just quite, it's very simple. And it's quite light. And they had these in so many different colours. And it's really cute. So that's another one for Lindsay. I really need to get a bag to put Lindsay's present in. Go in there. With 
one of her pins. Um, the magnet. Where did I put the magnet? The magnet. So this is that friendly present. And then this is my one. What I got for the Christmas tree. And it's a rose gold. It's actually copper, I think, but I just think it looks rose gold. And it's again, it's very subtle Disney, and it's it's really cute. I got that in the Christmas shop, and that was seven ninety nine euros. So that's another one for our tree. And we actually have one on my tree I got when I came here and went to the Sun Palace in two thousand five, and it hasn't broke yet, thankfully. That's Lindsay stuff. Okay, guys, we are really now on to the clothes I bought, and this was an impulse buy and. I bought earlier on today and it is from the Disney Lampard collection that's in the Disney fashion shop when I seen this the other day I saw I read it at 69 euros and there was no way and it's basically a pink princessy type skirt and actually this is the sort of skirt I wanted to take with to buy to wear to my princess main and if you look it's got mini mouth on there and it's kind of got the shorter bit underneath isn't it stunning it's so pretty um, that this actual collection and the Alice in Wonderland collection is stunning. This was thirty nine ninety nine euros and I think it's just gorgeous and it's something I it's just oh it was my birthday guys so I'm allowed to treat myself. Last time I went to Disney I didn't buy any clothes so I bought three tops. This one was in the seal and it was twenty euros reduced down to ten. And it is the only Rapunzel item of clothing I've seen and I had to get it so it's pink and it's got Rapunzel on there and it says be brave, be strong, be true and run like a princess and it's Rapunzel she, oh, I will talk to, you, talk to you about my interaction with her but she just made my holiday and she's my favourite anyway I wanted a 25th anniversary t-shirt so I got this one and it was mini of course and it's like a purpley colour and this was 19.99, and I really like it, I love the colour of it and then I bought a hoodie. And this one is actually a children's one, and it's but it's age 14, I think. And again, it's pink, and it has mini at the front, and then it has mini mouth on the back. And it was 34.99 euros. I I when I, I don't buy any clothes last time, and I come home with a pile of clothes. Another impulse buy, I bought a hat, mainly because I didn't take mine with me, and it is the princess one so it's purple in colour and it's sparkly pink and it has Rapunzel with her floating lanterns, Aurora, Cinderella, Ariel and Belle so this is 16.99 and um, it was quite warm when we were there and um, yesterday it was like really warm I forgot to take my hat so I got sunburned well done me so here what else have I got oh yeah um Alison's mummy bought me these sweets and these are 4 99 euros, but they're, they're fizzy ones, and as you can see, they're in the shape of Mickey Mouse. That's that. Now on to the this bag. Um, um, I'm going to show you an item actually that wasn't bought. Ah, I found another keyring. So, Jenna asked me to get her a Donald Duck keyring, and I couldn't find one. So, I got her this one. It's the letter J with Mickey on it, and that was. 6.99 euros. Where's her bag? Not that one. Is that her bag? Yep, that must be her bag. Yep. So I will sort that her bag out before I see her on Saturday night. I always buy a photo album. I couldn't see a 2017 one anywhere, but I went for the 25th anniversary one, and this was 16.99. And I've left my autograph book. Oh man, what did I do with my autograph book? Ah, I know where it is now. This is my original autograph book I took with me, but I am going to do a video of this autograph book and the other one. I bought a colouring book. More receipts! Good grief. So yeah, I bought a the Disney Princess colouring book, and this was 8 95 and the pictures in this are stunning. Like Pocahontas. So yeah, I absolutely love colouring books and Disney, so I bought that one. Um, dun, 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 dun. That's that bag done. I think I'm on the last bag now. Oh my goodness gracious me. Yes, I'm on the last bag. I bought an autograph book because I ran out of space in that one. And I got the princess one and that was €9.99. Euros. Little tip, if you want to buy it cheaper, go into the shop in the 
train station at Marna Valley. I think I said that right. I also got some not more biscuits, and these are for the house. Um, they were five ninety nine, I think. There is no price on them. So yeah, and there's twenty fifth anniversary one. I also got a twenty fifth anniversary photo frame as well, which was twelve ninety nine. And it's actually quite like thick. And now I have a story to tell you about my next item. Shall I get whoever that is to just text me? So yeah, basically it was my birthday while we were there and when we checked into our hotel, the kind cast member called Dylan gave Alison and I a twenty fifth twenty five pound twenty five euro gift card to spend on one item that we wanted. Alison got, I think, a Monster Sink baseball cap. I couldn't find anything. A lot of the tops were either 20 or they're 26 and they weren't really, I didn't really want to buy something and I went into my hotel shop yesterday and I seen this and I was like, oh my gosh, it's 24 99 I'm going to buy it. And it's the Anna plush doll and I bought Cinderella last time I went to Paris and I have Belle and I have Rapunzel and Anna is one of my favourites but they have released a new wave of these dolls and they're 29 euros. Don't get me wrong with dresses they're really pretty um, but I really like this Anna one and I love the fact the label actually says there's an Amparis on it as well but yeah this is my basically I guess my birthday present from Newport Bay so big shout out to Dylan the cast member who gave me the voucher. Um, yeah, so the last items I'm going to show you are actually the stuff I bought when we went to Val Europe Shopping Centre. We went into the the big supermarket and I bought these Harry Potter like stickers. So you've got the Hogwarts crest and you've got four the house stickers. These were two ninety nine. And I bought another colouring book and this is three seventy five and it's a Disney Princess one again. Very similar to the Disney Land one. But yeah, I got that one. I have made such a mess of my room right now. I also bought a Funko Pop. There is a shop in there. It's very fandomy, and I quite liked it. And I got the purple Regina from Once Upon a Time Funko, and this is actually a underground toys exclusive. I can't get this. Okay, somebody who is texting. Okay, so yeah, it's a purple Regina. And that was nineteen ninety nine euros, which is quite expensive when you consider the exchange rate is rubbish at the minute. But anyway, the main reason for going to Val Europe was Sephora. Oh my God, guys, that's pause. Nice. So yeah, Sephora. Um, I don't really wear a lot of makeup, so a lot of the stuff wasn't of any interest. Plus, it's quite expensive. I do have lip gloss, but it's in my bag, and I'm not going to go and find it because it's just lip gloss. So yeah, I got my sister the aloe vera hand mask, ironically she is called Vera, and it was $3.95. And then I got Zoe and I these face masks, and it got the green tea one, and the lotus face mask, and they were $3.95 as well. So yeah, that is everything I bought in Disneyland Paris. I apologise for this being so long. Any questions, comment below, and I will get back to you, and yeah, that is everything. I'm... I'm not skint by all means, but yeah. By the way, I just wanted to make a disclaimer. I should have done it at the start of the video, but I saved up really, really hard for this trip. Like I said, it was also my birthday while I was there, so I had birthday money. And I also got paid while I was out there, so I did treat myself because, you know, I'm only 31. And I wanted, and because of the 25th anniversary, there's quite a few things I liked, and the seals were on too. But yeah, I'm going to go, guys, and I will talk to you soon. I'll have some vlogs coming up, which I will be posting up very soon. So, bye guys!